Hey everybody, welcome. It's Mike with Monkey Fab and another connector. So this guy here is going to be, this is a fabulous, fabulous little connector that we have today as a prime example of connectors and stuff. So this guy is the 24X both crank and cam, and it is also the 58X cam guy. And it could be, I don't know, it could be a variety of things, but you'll see it just, you got the cavity with the little uh, cavity plug over towards your right hand side as you're looking inside it. And then this one here, and it'll just clip in there and everybody's happy. Does that with all these sensors, I assure you. So that's a nice guy. We're just gonna crimp it. We're gonna use these, uh, I think these are the Metropack crimpers, I believe. So I've already prepped these wires. Don't really think there's anything special to tell you about this. So you just, again, you just load that into your crimpers, load that guy in there, give it a good crimp. On these big ones, I like to kind of squeeze them, kind of pinch them together myself. I throw it up in, you know, give it another crimp. And there we go. So that guy is good to go. Give it a little tug. And it is ready to go into the connector. I'll do that. We'll do that two more times. So the cool thing about this guy is you can use it for um, lots of things. So not only is, could you just replace the uh, plugs if you needed to replace the plugs for whatever reason. Sorry, I know I'm always out of the frame when I'm doing this. It doesn't really make all that much of a difference. Just making crimpy boys, nothing, nothing fancy there. Uh, the last, last guy, but yeah, along with this guy, which we have, which is our Metropack, uh, 153 pin guy. This is for, this will fit into this guy. So with that, you can make adapters. So if, let's say you have a 24 X, um, harness and you needed to extend it out because you've switched over to, uh, the cam sensor in the front of the engine. Well, you could do that with this and another one of these guys and make yourself a extension or you could make uh, an extension for these guys are also good for like your map this also fits the map sensor so maybe you need to make an adapter for a different type of map sensor etc so we got those guys this guy um yep the cam and the crank just off the top of my head are the ones that it fits. And there we go. Last print. And we'll give this guy a go right there on the silicone. And now it just goes in here. So just be sure, you know, whatever you're pinning or whatever, you're just verifying the uh, what you got. I can't tell how these are supposed to go in. There's a lock. Where is the locky guy? This is what happens when you get old. So I believe it's down. <laughs> I've done this so much. I should be an expert at this, at pinning and depinning these guys. Okay, there we go. So the clip is at the top and your pin, if you look at your pin, you have a little guy that sticks up, a little protruding guy. That protrusion goes up towards the pin, just like that. And again, protrusion up towards the pin. So you hear the click and we're all clicked in. That's how you pin those guys. You depin it, you would just stick uh, your depinning tool up. Same thing, so they're in the top, you'll actually see like a little, like a little notch at the top for them. Your deep pinning tool, so we can just stick it in there. Just kind of work it in gently, you don't have to kill it. And when you feel it go pop, then you know, hey, I'm deep pinned. And that's how you deep pin those guys. I became a pinning and deep pinning expert trying to figure out a cranking, uh, I had a, a coil miswired. I thought that maybe I had the crank signal or the cram signal off. Uh, but the coils were actually not working. So that's how you do that guy. Um, 
Sorry about all the rambling. <laughs> Hopefully that helped you guys. This again are for both cam sensors and the 24 and 24X crank position sensor. Check it out, mugfabgarage.com.